The company that verifies your identity for thousands of apps recently experienced a significant cybersecurity breach. Okta, a leading identity and access management provider, authenticates users for over 18,000 companies worldwide. If you've logged into services like Zoom, FedEx, or Moody's, chances are you've utilized Okta's authentication services. In early 2022, the Lapsus Dollar Hacking Group breached Okta's systems, compromising employee credentials. This unauthorized access, lasting five days, allowed them into Okta's internal tools. These critical tools control authentication processes for millions of users across thousands of organizations. The breach consequently placed every single Okta customer at significant risk of compromise. Hackers gained the potential to bypass multi-factor authentication, reset user passwords, and impersonate legitimate users. Initially, Okta downplayed the incident, claiming only 2.5% of their customers, approximately 366 organizations, were potentially affected. However, Later investigations and public disclosures by Lapsus Dollar revealed a much wider and more severe impact. This incident highlighted the critical risks associated with relying on third-party vendors for core security services. When the gatekeeper of digital identities gets hacked, everyone behind that gate becomes inherently vulnerable. Okta has since taken steps to improve security, including terminating relationships with compromised subprocessors and implementing zero-trust architectures. They are also directly managing third-party devices and modifying customer support tools to limit information access. The Okta breach serves as a stark reminder of the constant evolution of cyber threats and the need for robust, transparent security practices. Is single sign-on making us less secure by consolidating risk? Share your thoughts on this critical cybersecurity challenge.